I'm starting out with my eyebrows already done and I filled them in a little bit thinner and more pointy than I normally do just to get the witch look and then I just applied my primer I used the Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade and then went in with my NARS She Glow foundation this one is in the shade Ceylan and I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend this into my skin Then to add some shape and some colour to my face, I'm using the Model Co Contour Stick and I'm just carving out my cheekbones around my hairline and my temples and I'm just blending it in with the same damp beauty blender and just using the side of the beauty blender instead of the round bottom part um, and just blending all of that into the skin and making sure it's nice and seamless. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot, just applying this all over the lids with my fingers. And then I'm using Makeup Geek Mirage to start off with. I'm just applying this all over the lid up to the brow just to act as a nice smooth base. And then I'm taking Peach Smoothie as a transition shade. I'm just using this on a really super fluffy blending brush and just messily popping this right into the crease. Then I'm taking the shade Cherry Cola, which is also from Makeup Geek, and I'm just taking a more precise blending brush and just starting to blend this into the crease. As you can see, I'm keeping it quite into that crease and not taking it down onto the lid, um, but I am taking it right into the inner corner towards the nose. So just kind of blending and blending until that product is all nice and seamless. And then I'm taking my Maybelline Jack, Jack Blair Liner. No, Black Gel Liner. Oh my God. And I'm just applying this all over the lid and I'm just pulling my eye taut so that I can get it right up to the crease but not in the crease. And then I'm taking a synthetic brush from Exo Beauty and I'm just blending the edges and making sure everything's kind of blended. It's obviously not going to blend out super well because it is a cream product but just blend it as well as you can. But you just want to pack this on the lid to create a nice dark base. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek Corrupt, which is a matte black, and I'm just starting to apply this onto the lid. So I'm using a brush that will blend the eyeshadow as well as pack it on. This just makes it a lot easier. And then I am taking a super tiny little crease brush from Sigma, and I'm just blending more of that color into the crease and just creating a little bit of a winged out cat eye effect on the outer corner. Then I'm taking this Sigma Glitter and it's in the shade Astral. So I'm spraying my brush with MAC Fix Plus before patting this all over the lid. And I did use some tissue on the other eye because it did have some fallout. So just be careful when you do that. But I'm just packing this all over the eyelid. And then just going in with that tiny little Sigma brush once again and just blending all the edges and adding a tiny little bit more of the black shade. And then I'm taking a liquid liner, this one's the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Liner in Black, which is my favourite. And I'm just doing a super, super thin little line along my upper lash line. And then giving my eyelashes a curl, applying some L'Oreal Telescopic. And the false lashes I used were the Exo Beauty The Brave, so I just popped those on. Then to conceal, I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in the shade NW20. And I'm just using my Beauty Blender again to blend this underneath my eyes and down the center of my face to highlight and conceal. And I haven't used this concealer in ages and now I'm back on it. I just can't get away from it again. I knew that would happen. So I'm taking the Too Faced Contour Kit and I'm just using the Light Cocoa Shade to set all of those concealed areas just to keep it nice and bright and highlighted. And then I'm taking the medium cocoa shade on a Sigma brush and just going over where I contoured with the cream product and just making sure that I have nice prominent cheek bones and some color around the perimeters of my face. Then I just took some of the light cocoa shade again and just ran it underneath that contour. Then I'm taking NARS Deep Throat Blush and I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks. I'm not applying much because I don't feel like a witch would wear much blush. I don't know why, but I just do. And then I'm taking the Iconic London Strobing Stick and I think it's in the shade Shine. Just applying it to the cheekbones and my cupid's bow and my nose just with my finger. And then going over the top of that with a powder highlight. This one is the 
Urban Decay Afterglow highlight in the shade Sin. Then I'm just running some Gimme Brow through my eyebrows just to add some texture and some fullness to them. I love Gimme Brow so much. And then going back in with Cherry Cola, I'm taking this underneath the lower lash line and just using a blending brush to really buff it out. And I'm also taking a little bit back through the crease above where I've got the darker shades just to add that little bit of warmth back into the crease. Then going in with Corrupt again on that tiny little blending brush, which is super handy. I love this brush so much. I'm just blending that underneath the lower lash line and then taking a big synthetic kind of blending brush and blending it out. Then I'm just tight lining and water lining my eyes using the Rimmel Cold Pencil in black. And finishing the eyes off with some mascara. I didn't put an inner corner highlight because I just forgot so weird and because I don't have a black lipstick which is bizarre I'm using a lip liner this is just the Rimmel one I used on my eyes I'm just using this to fill in my entire lips and it worked perfectly fine so that completes the video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one